Hey, did you know India's space agency, ISRO, sent a rocket to Mars for less money than it took Hollywood to make the movie Gravity? No way. That sounds fake. How is that even possible? It's true. They spent just $74 million on the Mars Orbiter mission, MARM. Compare that to NASA's MAVEN mission, which cost $671 million. Okay, but cheaper doesn't mean better. Did they cut corners or something? Not at all. Israel focused on efficiency. For example, they used off-the-shelf components instead of building everything from scratch. But doesn't that make their tech less reliable? Space missions are risky. Actually, no. Ezro tests everything rigorously. Plus, they've had an incredible success rate. Remember Chandrayaan-1? It discovered water on the moon. Yeah, I've heard of that. But still, how do they manage to keep costs so low compared to NASA or SpaceX? Good question. First, labor costs in India are much lower. Engineers at ISRO earn far less than their counterparts in the U.S. That makes sense, but isn't there a risk of underpaying talent? Won't people leave for better opportunities? True, but ISRO has a strong sense of national pride. Many scientists stay because they believe in contributing to India's progress. Also, ISRO outsources manufacturing to local industries, keeping costs down. Interesting. What about the technology? Don't advanced rockets require super expensive equipment? They innovate smartly. For instance, ISRO uses modular designs that can be reused across missions, and they avoid unnecessary bells and whistles. But doesn't simplicity limit what they can achieve? Like, could they ever compete with SpaceX's reusable rockets? Fair point, but ISRO is working on reusability too. In 2016, they tested a prototype called RLVTD, a reusable launch vehicle. It's not as advanced as SpaceX's Falcon 9 yet, but they're catching up. Hmm. Okay, but let's talk about scale. NASA and SpaceX send huge payloads into space. Can ISRO match that? Not exactly, but they don't need to. ISRO specializes in cost-effective solutions for smaller satellites. For example, in 2017, they launched 104 satellites in one go using their PSLV rocket. Wow, that's impressive. But again, does cheap mean sustainable? What if something goes wrong during a mission? Great question. ISRO has faced failures like any space agency, but they learn quickly and adapt. Their recent SSLV small satellite launch vehicle had issues, but they're already improving it. All right, but why should we care about ISRO when private companies like SpaceX are leading the charge? Because ISRO inspires developing nations. If India can explore space affordably, other countries can too. Plus, Israel's satellite programs help millions back on Earth, improving agriculture, disaster management, and communication. I see your point. So, what's next for Israel? Are they planning anything big? Absolutely. They're aiming for a manned space mission called Gaganyaan by 2025. Imagine an Indian astronaut orbiting Earth, and they're also planning missions to Venus and the Sun. That's ambitious. But will they stick to their budget philosophy? Of course, even Gagan Yan is estimated to cost only 1.4 billion dollars, way less than similar programs elsewhere. Ezra proves that innovation doesn't always require billions. You've convinced me. Ezra really is doing amazing things on a shoestring budget. Hats off to them. Exactly. They show the world that determination and creativity can take you farther than money alone. Truly inspiring.